welcome everybody today we will do a simple energizing hatha yoga flow class come up to marjari asan on your fours and you can start by arching your back and looking up and gently hunching the back and looking down you can gradually start this movement few times your knees are just shoulder width apart your fingers your palms all well rooted in the ground you're breathing in as you arch and look up you're breathing out emptying the stomach drawing your navel into your spine when you're hunching the back from the tailbone till the neck the entire back is working here and then relax in a neutral position and slowly lift both the legs up it's very important you place your palms completely on the ground mainly root well through the base of your index fingers to start with you may want to keep moving your knees up and down like this so you get a good deep stretch at the back of your legs and once you got it stay there stay still keeping the knee straight root well through the heels and gradually come up into a plank position lean forward more and get into half plank and then relax the body completely on the ground your big toes in contact and slowly lift your chin and chest up until the navel only using your back strength and not your hand strength and hold it as long as possible constantly breathing and now relax and when you're ready inhale and come up to urdhva urdhva mukha svanasana up facing dog hold it as long as possible and relax down from here curl your feet in gradually lift the butt up chest up chin up and the knees up and go back into downward facing dog pose adho mukha svanasana this time bring your feet together your heels in contact and gradually float the right leg up in the air as high as you can and from there bend the knee bring your toe pointing down towards the left side so you get a good stretch on your right side and the waist send the leg back up and bring your knee right in front right behind your wrist and send the hips down by sending the left knee back a little bit more and sink down into the posture and gradually get your forehead down you can also alternatively do this by getting the elbow on the ground which i will show you on the other side let the hips sink down let the stretch keep happening keep lengthening your hand and gradually you can bring the hands back and come up place your hands on your legs like this and arch and look up arch back completely giving yourself a good back bend and looking up deep breaths and gradually bring the hands back curl the feet in send the legs back and go back into downward facing dog to feet together gradually lift the left leg up as much as you can constantly breathing and bend the knee send the knee up and then towards your other side your right side so you get a good stretch on your waist and slowly bring the leg down bring your knee right behind your wrist square your feet slowly sink the hips down as much as you can send the knees as much back as possible and if it's difficult for you to get the head down you can get the elbow down like this and draw your chin forward as much as you can and after some time maybe you get a bit more comfortable so you can get the entire body down basically forehead down as if you're lying your lying down on your leg and slowly bring the hands back place it on your knees arch and look up pull your shoulders back deep breaths feel the deep stretch at your back at your lower back and bring the palms down bring the legs back and go back into downward facing dog 
Adhamukha Swanasana. And from here, slowly come back into plank. Santolanasana, lean forward as much as you can. Constantly breathing. Then Chaturanga Dandasana. Maybe you can hold there for a bit and then rest it down. And gradually curl your feet out and lift up this time with the elbow bent. Maybe Bhujangasana. You can use your hand strength as well and slowly relax down. Curl your feet in and come up again to downward dog. Adho Mukha Swanasana. From here, bring your right leg forward in between your palms. Sink the hips down as much as you can. Look up. Gradually get the knee down, curl your feet up. And when you're comfortable, root well through your feet and your heels and bring the hands up. Place it on your knees and when you're comfortable, lift both the hands up. Lengthen your spine, lengthen your hands, your hands by the side of the ears, fingers together and start arching back when you're comfortable. And then slowly bring back and place your palms by the side of your legs and lift the knees up. And slowly send that right hand up in the air. Twist and look up. Keep your right knee pushed towards your left shoulder, sinking the hips down constantly. Slowly bring the palms back down. Look up. And send the legs back again to Adho Mukha Swanasana. Heels on the ground, knees straight. Now bring your left leg forward now. Sink your hips down as much as you can. Drop the knee down, curl your feet out. Rooting well through all the three points of your leg. Your big toe, little toe and your heel. On your fingertips, sink the hips down. It's a preparation and lift the shoulders up and place your hands on your knees. So you get a good balance. And then stretch the hands up, lengthening your spine. Lifting up through all the four sides of your waist. Lifting your shoulder blades, lifting your hands, shoulders and arch back as much as you can. Keep breathing. As much as you can bend forward and slowly bring the hands back again by the side of your legs on your fingertips. Curl your feet in, lift the knee up, lift the knee up and sink your hips down. If you can place your palms down completely, do that and gradually send that left hand up. Keep your hip sink down as much as you can, but the knee, back knee, lift it up. And slowly bring the palms back down. Now, this time bring your right leg forward to join the left leg. Grab hold of your big toe with the help of the first two fingers and draw your neck forward and flatten the back. And now slowly bend forward, taking your forehead to the knee, bending the elbows. And once again, you're going to draw your head forward, trying to flatten the back without letting go of your toes with the first two fingers. Back is trying to arch. And this time, release your hands and place your hands by the side of your legs. Fold yourself completely. And get your forehead to the knee, abdomen onto the thighs. One more time, flat back. Inhale up and place your hands on your waist and slowly stand up. Feet up together. Support your lower back. Your hands are almost on your butt. Supporting it. Keep your knees tight, but firm and arch back as much as you can. Constantly breathing. Bring the elbows close and slowly come back up. Send the hips back and bend forward gradually. And place your palms on the ground. Once again, flat back and hands on your waist and come up. Send the legs apart now. And place your hands on your waist and bend forward. Upper body parallel to the ground. You're going to extend through the outer edge of your legs, the outer edge of the knee, and then pull up through the inner edge of your knee. And place your hands back in your waist and send that right hand forward. And bring the hand back. And then do the same thing for the left side. Don't let that right elbow drop down and hold it there. Keep your abdomen pulled and navel drawn into your spine. Spine erect. Place your hands back on your waist. This time, both the hands forward and lengthen. Your knees are straight. And place your hands back to your waist. Bring your hands on the ground by the side of each other. 
and bend forward as much as you can now slowly move your hands away from each other little more than shoulder width apart and get your head as much down as you can all the while keeping the knee straight and rooting through the outer edge of your feet Once you cut, once you get it on as much as you can, interlock your fingers behind your lower back. Make your elbow straighter. Lift it up. Bring the hand forward as much as you can and taking the head down. Constantly breathing. Don't forget to breathe. If you notice that if you wait there for some time, gradually you can stretch a little bit more. And come back up. Release your hands and place it on the ground. Come up on your fingertips. Arch and look ahead. Flatten your back, place your hands on your waist and come back up again. Turn your right leg to your right side and the left leg, maybe at a 45 degree angle. Twist your hip completely facing in front. Slowly take your hands back, doing namaste at the back, elbows drawn away as much as possible. Namaste, raise your hands up as much as you can. Keep breathing and at your exhalation, you can start bending forward, keeping your spine erect. You're welcome to maybe slightly bend the knee, maybe a micro bend in the knee if there is too much stretch. And stop when it's too much for you. You don't have to reach the forehead to the knee, but you can work your way up to it gradually, being very kind and gentle with the body. And take the forehead to the knee, keep the spine long, maybe give a slight micro bend in the knee. Inhale and slowly come back up. Gradually you can release your hands. Place your hands on your waist and send that left hand up completely. Keeping your hands and back in alignment. Keep your, your left hand and back in alignment. Bend forward. And gradually take your left hand to the right side of your right leg. And send that right hand up. You're welcome to look down. Parivrit Trikonasan. But once you've got the balance handled, rooting well through all the three parts of your right leg and then rooting well through your left leg as well, slowly start looking up. And gradually bring your hands back to your waist. And bring your hands down gradually. And come back to your center position. Getting a little bit of breather there. By now you must have worked out, uh, worked up a lot of sweat. The same thing for the left side. Turn your left leg out completely. 90 degree angle and the right leg at a 45 degree angle. Send both the hands back. Bring your hands back and doing namaste at the back. Keep the elbows up. And lean forward drawing from the chest and the chin so your spine is in fact stretched as if you're trying to arch the back even though there is a slight hunch happening in the back you keep trying to pull the spine forward and gradually get the forehead to the knee sometimes you're more flexible on one side than the other respect that don't try to match it on both the sides even though that is your intention just do as much as your body allows you once you're there, gradually come back up while you inhale. Place your hands back in your waist and send that right hand up this time. Your right hand in alignment with your spine and leaning forward as much as you can. And once they are in horizontal position, bring the hand, the right hand down onto the left side of your left leg. You can try and place your palms down. You are welcome to use a block here or just the fingertips on the ground. Keeping your spine long, rooting well through your back leg, keeping the knee straight, rooting well on the front three portions of the leg, the big toe, little toe and the center of your heel. Slowly see if you can look up. And slowly bring the hands back again, sink the hips down and come back to the center position and slowly come up and bring your legs together into the, back into the front of the mat send the hips back as much as you can and bend forward getting the forehead to the knee gradually bend the knees in seated position 
we're gonna do something different here slowly get into Vajrasana and once you're in Vajrasana slowly come up we're gonna get ready for Supta Vajrasana take the heels apart your knees are still close to each other heels apart and place your butt on the ground and slowly when you're comfortable and slowly fall back and drop your elbows down look back maybe your ankles are too tight to practice this so work your way up to it and do as much as you possibly can gradually once your elbows are down if you can walk your elbows in front and completely lying down on your stomach lying down on your back and stretch your hands over the head Supta Vajrasana stay there for some time and once you're done gradually come back on your elbows and come up completely getting your spine erect slowly bring your legs in front you're gonna sit in Dandasana for a bit keeping your feet together ankles engaged curled in knees are together your hands relaxed inhale lift both the hands up as if someone is pulling you from up you're gonna lengthen your spine and hands and as you exhale bend forward get into Paschimottanasana hold the toes and forehead to the knees once you're comfortable there your body is quite warmed up now so you might be able to do this interlock your fingers palms turned away and lock it your feet and forehead down find the length in your hamstrings and calves and in your back release the same way you went into the posture you're gonna release inhale come back up and exhale relax your hands now we're gonna gradually cool on the body now we're gonna do a little bit of spine twist first bring your right leg in interlock your fingers and spine long and first give a slight twist to the left side now with the help of your left hand hug your right leg so that your fingers reach the quadricep portion of your right leg and then take the right hand back as much as you can and twist and look back keep your spine long constantly breathing it's very good for your stomach and di internal digestive organs and release your leg out the same way keep your right leg back and bring your left leg now interlock your fingers get your spine erect this time turn a little bit to the right and hug your left leg with your right hand and you can use your left hand and hug it tighter and slowly send the left hand back pull your shoulders away twist so much that your chest and your abdomen completely faces the left side pull that left shoulder back as much as you can and slowly once you're done bring it back place it back and you can gradually rest into Shavasana maybe it was a little bit faster maybe you can gradually work your way up into doing that you can continue to rest for another three to four minutes Thank you very much. Namaste. See you in the next video.